as you can see, I started with white, as you do. That is what you do when you paint. Everything is still undecided, but you know what? I haven't given it enough time. Like I just posted that last video and I'm... Let's see if anybody said anything about what paint scheme I should do. A clown pattern, the orange and white saltwater fish clowns. Morty Ditch Troll said that. A brook trout, a salmon. You guys are just saying like rainbow trout and brook trout and tiger trout and golden trout and cutthroat trout. That wasn't the point of this, guys. See, Kyle Herber, I wouldn't try to imitate anything. Do something completely different. Try something new. Exactly, Kyle. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry, I got on a hearting everybody's comment roll. I can't look away from my phone until they're all hearted. Alright. You'll see. You'll see! I'm gonna pick a color by throwing this pin right here. And whichever one it knocks off is the color I'll start with. And I won't even look. I'll only I'll look at it through the viewfinder. This might take a few tries. Okay, I knocked. I knocked over the detail raw umber. It's about the that's <laughs> about the blandest color I could have knocked over and out of everything on there. This isn't even a color. Like what is that? Brown, green, black poop. If your poop looks like that, go to the doctor, but I'm sticking with it. Maybe I'll do that for this whole paint scheme, just randomly pick colors that I have to shoot. That might be cool. Here we go. What should I do with this? I don't know what to do with this. What should I do with this? It probably will need to be a detail. Let's lay some paper towels down. Yes, this is gonna get weird. This being a uh, transparent detailed color isn't really helping either. I'm keeping it, I'm just gonna keep this pattern at the top flank. We'll do something else down at the belly. Something different. So I'm gonna continue the pattern onto the top and then come down the other side. So I gotta put this in the vise. But I'll also have to watch out at the same time I'm not doing, like just continue this over here and I do overspray and just like, like it widens out and gets, it fades away on the other side. You don't want that. So I'll have to like rotate my airbrush like this with the, um, curve of the bait on the top. Makes sense? No? Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll just have to be careful every time like that. Starting to spit a little bit. I'm gonna clean this out. That happens with every color. You leave it in the airbrush too long and you're using it too much, you'll get spitter spatters. Just tiny little unatomized pieces of paint that have kind of dried and set up a little bit and they shoot off from different directions and ruin your paint job. So you just have to clean your brush once in a while. Okay. That went pretty well. I didn't only just do this pattern on the body. I added some of that burnt umber stuff to the gill plates and the eye socket and the nose right there. I went up the, the fins a little bit with the pattern too on the back here. It goes all the way around. Worked out just fine. And now I'm done with that color. It's time to choose another. Detail Sapia is easily the next worst possible color I could have hit. It's like the burnt umber, or the, the raw umber, but just brown. This is more poopy. I have to add it, so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna add much. Maybe I'll define the fins a little bit with this. It'll have natural fins. There we go. Okay, I guess, I guess that's not too bad. 
I don't know why I had to make this video so challenging on myself. Totally unnecessary. Oh, you guys didn't see that. I just painted that down there. Um, I'm gonna leave these three fins alone. The bottom ones, I'm gonna leave alone. I'm just adding the sapia to the top fins and the tail fin a little bit. Okay, let's put the sapia away. That's not cheating, I used it. I hope the next color is something bright, something fabulous. Here we go. I'm gonna try aiming higher. Okay, I knocked, I pushed back one and I knocked over another. Pearl blue. It's not fabulous, but it is pearl blue. We can work with this. Okay, I'm gonna try to reduce this stuff. Eh, never mind, I'll make do. No, I need to reduce this stuff. One sec. I think this will be the first time on video I've ever thinned out a paint. High performance reducer. Throw a squirt in there. Give her a stir. Million times better. Watch this. Still have to be careful. Since it's thinner, it's like, uh, it's annoying. Sometimes it'll splash. You have to be careful with thin paint still. Okay, just gotta do the same thing on the other side. That's pretty special, that, that looks awesome. Ooh, I wanna add some blue to that tail fin. That would look good too. There, I decided to just go straight through the middle. So there's just kind of a general tendency of some blue going through the body, through the middle of the body and kind of trickling its way up to the top where it can. Okay, next. I knocked over two. That means I get to decide. It's just the rules. Detail crimson, also known as red. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Red, red, red. I could do like a coming up from the belly or I could come down from the top. I could do the same thing I did with the blue but come into the other spaces with the red. That seems really cool. And it's a detail one, so I'll be able to shoot it really accurately. Let's do that. Like that. This is like a random color bait painting challenge. What a great idea. I didn't even have the idea, I just started doing it. Couldn't tell if my hand was in the way. No, it wasn't. Frankly, I don't care, this is tough. Looks like graffiti. Looks good though. You don't usually see paint schemes like this. Whew, this is detailed. Every single little square centimeter, millimeter of this bait is gonna have to be co color Covered with color. I already did the design. I'm still gonna have to add some design to the belly, but I left white everywhere. And I'm, I kind of realized what that means for me is like, I have to cover everything with a color. I can't just leave white, you know? That looks like a brown one. Wicked brown. Great. Huh. You know what? If I add this color to this wood carving, I'm going to ruin it. I should only do the randomized paint stuff to an extent. I have a good start. And I have all sorts of ideas I can do to this to make it look very nice. But if I put this color on it, it will ruin it all. We're not gonna put, we're done. I have stopped before I went too far. Good for me. Black. We're gonna add some black up here that fades into the blue where the blue already has been added. But it's mostly gonna be for the top and on the head here and some gill detail. Detail black. Next, yellow. I'm gonna fill in the belly, kind of just the side actually, and a little bit on the belly with an opaque yellow. Trying not to turn this blue into green, but if it does, it's just some cool fading anyway, so no big deal. That is a mind-meltingly bright yellow, but it looks good. So I'm gonna try to come into the tips of each one of these gill plates, or those. these are gill plates, these are just gills. With my wild friend. 
My elbow turned up the volume. I've never done that before. But yeah, just the edges of each one of these. That's not easy. Can't breathe. I think I'm even gonna come in with a different color and do the other side of each one of these to define them better, but the yellow's there. This is a lighter blue. It's very opaque still, but it's a lot lighter. I think it'll make good contrast with that darker pearl blue, and I'm gonna bring it down into the belly for the detail in the belly. I think that'll look good. I just have to think about how to do this. I think I'm gonna go off of these patterns where the blue goes up to the top a little bit and do stuff off of those. And I'm just ignoring that fin for now. Okay, now it's gonna get intense. I'm gonna take this window screen mesh, place it over um, the lighter parts between those lines that I just made. By the way, I added some white to the insides of those, or to the outsides of the, you know what, I don't know if they're the insides or the outsides, but I added white between all those spaces, and now I'm gonna put some detail scarlet between where the white is. You'll see. Wow, you seriously cannot see what you're doing, but that looks fine. I wanna fade the scales from the bottom to the middle. Jeez. That's a nice detail. I like that. I might do that up on the red here with a different color. Maybe with a natural color. Like sapia or umber. But that's the, that's what that made that look like. That looks good. Whilst it's in the brush, I'm gonna do that thing again. The other color is gonna be scarlet on those little gill plate things. I screwed that up so bad it hurt. Dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna add a lot of red to this and then come back with a white, I think. Of course, I do the last one perfectly. So believe it or not, but I'm gonna do exactly that on the other side, even though that does not look good. And then I'll fix both of them with a lot of white and it'll just kind of turn it into a pink fleshy mush. At least that's my plan. Okay, that looks a lot better. Those gill things are a little bit more acceptable, I would say, than just straight red. So many dots. I think that brought it together a lot better. Um, I don't want to go too overboard. I, I'm getting an uneasy feeling like I'm going to go, I think I already have gone too overboard, but I'm going to paint the fins now, and then I'm going to put some more detail into the gills, and then I think I need to stop, and the, it just has to be finished, even if I'm not completely, like, I don't feel like I made the, obviously I don't feel like I made the perfect piece with this. It's pretty funky. Yeah, anyway, paint the fins. Gill detail, we'll see, we'll see where we're at. I'll probably be done after that. I'm gonna go with a natural, normal thing for the fins. When you thin this color down, it works pretty well. It's gotta be very thin. Okay. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably aren't seeing that. It's so thin, you just, when you touch the, the grooves, the color fills in automatically. I'm gonna paint the whole fin this color, but it's just kind of cool when it does that. I'm gonna do that with the red up here. Oh, you guys can't see. I'll show you later. Never mind. Time lapse. Need more reducer. Stuff's gotta be thin to run down that crack, to run down that seam. Let's choose a better word there. There we go. That should keep going. That didn't. I need something thin and pointy. Or just another brush. There we go. There's an interesting detail. I'm gonna leave it like that even though it's not perfect. 
Looks all right. Gonna add some stuff to these fins too. Covering up some little imperfections, but also adding something that kind of makes you wonder. Like what the heck's going on there. Like maybe this fish has a disease, you know? This one's not wanting to run. It's gonna need some help. Oh, there we go. There we were going. There we go. That's good enough. Let's not overdo it. One last detail I'm gonna do with a comb. I'm gonna get some rib lines going across the body here with some pearl white. This will just be a detail that from the right angle you'll be able to see. It looks good. It looks trouty. Time for eyes. By the way, I painted the inside of the mouth kind of gray and pink, and I blended it all in, kind of make it look like it's deeper than it is. But anyway, time for eyes. Okay, you also might notice that I did some detail around the head there. I darkened it up and I added some pearls and stuff. I think it looks great now. As an abstract piece that this is, that's interesting. That is like, what the heck is that? That's what I was going for. Lots of stuff to look at, lots of ways to see. I put the detail in and whatnot. Done, let's add the eye. Yes, those are all just excuses to get me to try to stop painting on this because I really need to. Enough excuses. These are the eyes I'll be using. Dead Meat Customs. I plug that guy a lot, but I really appreciate his eyes. His lure eyes, not his eyes. That's gonna look good on there. Or better yet, I got a better pair, I think. Blue. Blue. Blue it is. Shut up, Peter. Shut up. Where's the glue? I just realized the other day, you could use a glue stick to apply lure eyes. Just get a little bit of that glue on the back and tack it on. And then you're not running the risk of getting super glue everywhere. Those are good. Those are very nice. I would love to know how he makes these lure eyes, but you kind of have to understand like trade secrets and stuff when it comes to niche markets like this, but I'd love to know. Okay. I'm in a bit of a pickle. Does it, does the pupil go that way? I never understood if the pupil goes this way or this way. I'm going to do it this way where the skinny part faces the back, but now yeah, let's look at a picture first. See, fins are right in the middle. Isn't that a cute picture? Oh, would you look at that? The skinny part faces the front. I would have been wrong. Glue stick, glue is applied. Here we go. Being overly dramatic. Stunning. Is that enough weird turning angles for you? Let's get one over here. And just like that, the graffiti trout popsicle is done. Not completely done, actually. It still needs a clear coat and I still need to build a stand for it. I'm gonna do a river rock stand with a base and like pour the epoxy over the river rocks so they all sit in one place and this acrylic rod's gonna go into the the, the base. You know what I'm saying? No? Well, follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm gonna have the finished picture of this bait. For now, it is done being painted. One last look. I know that might sound like a weird plug that you need to go follow my Instagram, to, but I just I feel like posting this video because I wanna get to the next bait. I want to make a lure next. I have an idea and I want to work on that tonight. So I'm ending this video right now. And yeah, go follow my Instagram guys. You'll see the, the finished product, the finished thing right here. I might sell this too. We'll see. On to the next bait. It's got to be very thin. Stuff's got to be thin. It's so thin you just, you'll see. Shut up! And then I think I need to stop. Whilst it's in the brush. This isn't even a color. Everything is still undecided. Just like... Good for me. 